Next Level Sound is home to the modern music producer. To learn more about Next Level Sound's online music production courses, please visit nextlevelsound.com. Enjoy. So now, so now we have our uh, drums pieing with our bass. Our drums are pieing with our bass, and we gave the drums a little bit of channel weight. We saw too much made the bass flabby and hollow. Not enough wasn't as focused. So, so somewhere like this, we like this. Okay. Now we have another element here. This I'll play a couple more elements. So these to me are, they're not drums, they're not bass. I'm going to call them pads. That's the way it made sense to me. So I'm going to go to Pi and I'm make in my group two, I'm going to set it to group two, which I did, and I'm going to name it pads. So this is going to be a pad. We'll go turn on this Pi. It's a pad to me today. And then uh, this little vocal thing is also a pad to me. So now these pads are a group that will optimize their phase relationship. And then since we have this setting, it will also, first it's going to pie the group, then it's going to make the group play nice with the whole mix. So this sounds like this. Can everyone see these two pad elements play nicer with the phase, with the multiband phase meter? It's, there's a little delay, but you see it get all sad and drop below the equator. Um, and it sounds better too. Yes, it does. This is the only tool that can do this that I've ever seen in my life. It's a where have you been all my life thing, What? but it's not obvious. You can't roll out of bed and start doing this. I know it's insane. Um, there's no channel process on now to confirm whether Pi is at the end of... No, it has to be last. All the channel strip processing happens, and then it goes last as a post-fader insert. And, and there's no... Oh, yeah. There's no... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And there's no... We didn't need to EQ and compress this yet. Okay. So now I have my pads all happy, and I can prove it with my multiband correlation meter. And I can play with the channel weight or whatnot. And then I have this other probably illegal bass loop that I just, uh, on my 90s hip hop mentality, I just want to shove everything into a little container. So I have this crazy thing. And so I, I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to put this in my drum and bass group. Do you agree? I think you would mix into this and it would correct you the whole way. Okay, good. So I know we have just two more minutes left. Let's just do this. Let's just make sure all my pies are turned on. Turn on pie, pie, pie. All right, everybody's pieing. And I threw a tremolator on here for fun. I'm going to just turn on these elements and you'll hear them pied. And then at the end, I'll just bypass all the pies and you'll see the before and after. So here we go.
here that it's it's but it gets completely hollow without the pie and then with the pie the low frequency and the sub kicks in hugely and just if you couldn't tell what i was doing when it's blue it's on when it's yellow it's off so just listen one more time listen to just that that extra sub bass on top of the bass which is probably illegal but um just listen to what happens to the low frequencies People hear the kick drum, the fullness of the kick, the fullness of the bass, and that when it disappears, how weak it sounds. Can you hear it? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Um, good, good, good. This is a, yeah, everything's running and the drum loop is the only thing with more weight at the moment. Will we mix with this? I would say yes, because I think it's always playing cleanup for all of your EQ phase shifting and all kinds of stuff. And Nier said, I said, what about reverb near? Does reverb upset pie? And he was like, no, not at all. Because a reverb, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't bother it at all. And your reverb return tracks, should they have pie on them or no? Your aux tracks or your reverb returns? No, 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 exactly. You could throw this on right away. You could, you could post fader. You could put pie on everything. Do your grouping. I would set up your groups in a logical way right away. And then you could mix with this on for sure. Okay. Is this making sense? Is this, isn't this kind of crazy? But please do play with it. Run the demos. Um, the demos run for a while. And then we have discounts and stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is I have mixed so many tracks that had phase issues that never got addressed for the entire life of the mix. And it would have been so much better to tighten these things up. It would have made the whole mix easier. And sometimes you get very extreme things in your own productions, your own recordings or mixing for someone else. And you're like, why does this sound so weak and so hollow? But these are the really good tools for fixing that. And then once that's fixed, sometimes you're halfway home. You don't need as much EQ compression, saturation, and pulling your hair out, you know? All right, listen, everyone, stay warm, stay safe and healthy. Uh, have a good weekend. Cheers, everyone. To learn more about our online music production classes, please visit nextlevelsound.com, home to the modern music producer.